Keaton, nicely batted you and Alex there. Um, in the context of the game, and you've been behind it for most of it, is it nice to finish on the kind of on the front foot with a with a good result? Yeah, massively. Look, I mean, we, we sort of pride ourselves on being a side that's really tough to beat. Um, so to come out of the, the game that we haven't played all that well in um, since day one, really, um, with I say a positive result, or at least was a draw. Um, it was good, and I think it gives a lot of the guys the, the sort of confidence that we will fight back from positions where we aren't sort of in a great position. Um, so yeah, look, it was it was good to get the draw. Um, hopefully, we start better next week with the with the bat or the ball, whichever we do. Um, I feel we were below par in, in both regards this week. When you, you headed to the ground today, it was the chance you know you're going to bat again at some point. I mean, how determined were you as a group and you individually to make sure right this is this, this will be our day. We won't, we won't make a mess this time. Yeah, 100%. Look, I mean, like I said, we, we pride ourselves on being a side that's really tough to beat. Um, we didn't play our best cricket for the first three days. albeit one day was rained out. Um, but we, we didn't play our toughest cricket. Um, so we had to stand up to have to face, face music as, as such, um, to throw a cliche in. Um, but we had to stand up and be counted. And today was one of those days, thankfully, myself and David were, were able to sort of pull, pull the side through to, to a really positive draw. And under the context of it, a, a significant draw as well. If you lose it here, I don't think you would have been mathematically out of it, but it would be quite difficult for you to qualify, wouldn't it? To be completely honest, I haven't actually looked at the tables all that much. So, uh, look, from our point of view, we need to be tough to beat. We need to try and win as many games as we can. Um, starting from now next week, um, prep starts tomorrow for a lot of the guys, a bit of a rest up. Um, Bowlers have bowled a lot in the last couple of weeks. Um, and make sure we hit the ground running starting Saturday morning. Um, so, look, it's, it's a crucial two games for us coming up. Um, and, and really just make sure we're playing really good cricket. I think we've been a little bit inconsistent at times. Um, which happens, um, especially in a sort of disruptive season. Um, so we need to make sure it comes Saturday morning we're really sort of prepared and make sure we actually play some really good cricket. And for you personally to spend some time in the middle, uh, how crucial is that for you? Yeah, massively. Look, I've been a little bit frustrated. I mean, you look in, in isolation at four knocks I've had personally and it's, you, you kind of, if you've had four low scores um, at the start of a normal season, you would sort of fob it off and just sort of carry on. Um, but you go around in circles as a player, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and, and I want to do well. I'm proud. I want to do, do well for Lancashire and, and make sort of match winning contributions. And I haven't done that the last couple of games. So to put in a performance today, myself and Dave, and put in a really sort of enjoyable partnership between us was, was good. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, and thankfully today was my day um, in, in order to sort of pull the side out of a really sort of sticky situation. To throw ahead to Yorkshire, um, had a little flavour in the warm-up match, yeah. um, which was nice, but I mean, when the proper stuff comes round, it should be, should be good fun, shouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, look at the, the old foe. Um, I mean, playing for Durham and Langston, I mean, Yorkshire just seems to be the old foe, which is brilliant. So look, it'll be a really good week, a really tough week. Um, the Roses clash is always a little bit more hard fought. Um, I think it was meant to be at Scarborough as well this year, which was a little bit more niggly. Um, but no, look, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Yorkshire's the, the kind of side that are really hard to beat. They never give you an inch um, and, and they fight like hell all the way through every, every sort of minute of the four days. So that's the kind of cricket you want to play. You want to compete with those sort of guys and, and, and at that sort of level. So I'm really looking forward to, to 11 a.m. on Saturday. As we speak, Yorkshire and Derbyshire are the top two in the North Group. You say you're not up to the, 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 the table where they are. Um, and you've got those two to play, so it's kind of in your own hands a bit here, isn't it? Definitely. Like I said, we need to be really tough to beat. We need to make sure we win, win those games when we get into these positions. We need to be a little bit quicker at um, sort of realising the, the, the sort of state of the game, the state of the wicket, um, where we are, um, and, and just make sure we execute a little bit better, which is OK. Um, and uh, look, I mean, that's, that's the joy of having a really sort of young squad. Um, we've got some guys that have only played sort of two or three first class games, um, and they've shown some really impressive things. And, we need to, as senior players, make sure we, we back them, help them, um, and, and get them up to, to uh, sort of speed really quickly. Um, and that'll start Saturday morning in, in a really tough sort of contest.